Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to check out something very unique. Uh, mm. I think they call putresca or putresca. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it means like damn you in Tagalog. <laughs> okay. And then ska is just ska, like the, the, the genre. And they do British ska and Jamaican shit. No. Um, which is obviously a bizarre mix. And I never thought we were going to review this coming from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a 90s band. Very popular. So I probably, I don't even know why it needs the introduction because probably most people watching know who they are. But gonna check out the whole video, right? Like their, their, their original video. And I think we've probably seen snippets of this in the live stream. I think so. But I've never actually paid attention to it. So. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. It's very old. So uh, to excuse the 240p. Oh, the baby. Once we have the Putresca. Escuela Pangarabco. That's not what he said. Between Sisiu. Oh my Halimao. God. Halimao. What? Halimao means monster. It's a new word. Okay, very nice. Wonderful. Homework, homework. <laughs> homework is homework. That happened to me last night. Oh, ooh. Okay, what a vibe though. Oh, it's a girl vocalist. Yeah. I think her name is Scarlett. Manila girl. This is interesting though because it has such a a eighties. Uh, pop uh, style to it. Yeah, I wouldn't call it 90s. I no, call it like this is really, 70s, 80s, you'd no, say. No, no, no. This is really late 80s, like Cindy Lauper type of feel. Like, there is a bit of like uh, the era of Madonna. It, like, I feel more towards the late 80s than it does to me uh, early 90s. But then again, I could be completely it's wrong Madonna, here. Madonna, the 80s. Oh, 100%. Really? She's like the 80s queen, baby. Like everything about she's, her. She's kind of, she's been in this for a long time. For right? a really long time. Yes, yes, yes. I, yeah. I admire that woman, you know? It's pretty crazy. For, yeah. But some she's of her biggest hits. still twerking in her shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think at some age you should give in that card, you know? The twerking card. Yeah, like, I think after 70, after. probably. I don't think she's 70. What the hell? She's not I 70. I think it also depends how well you take care of your body. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? All right, yeah, Efren, nice. I'm just saying. Oh, I was just saying, the really cool, back to the music here, the really cool idea of this is that you have all the great elements of uh, uh, ska music with pop, so you have a really great me metal section, an easy pop beat that goes with it, and an incredible personality but, as a leading lady. When was Monkey Man? Oh, well, you see, the original song comes out in 1950s, I think, by a, uh, by a group. But Amy Winehouse makes it popular back in, the, again, like 2010s. So, Putresca, or mm -hmm. Putresca, the band referred to itself as 60s-oriented. Right. So, I see Monkey Man. I see. I see Monkey Man rather than... I do, I do, I do. Rather than Cindy Lauper. However... No, 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 this is very pop. This I, is very pop. Maybe they, maybe that's kind of their, that was their objective, um, but it's sort of because of the time of the eighties and the nineties. That's yes. just sort of how it came out. But maybe they want it to be a bit more sixties, fifties. Well, I do think that if you maybe uh, monkey man, if you make it a little bit faster, it's it leans towards ska more than it does to pop. Yeah. So it's yeah. Poppy so far. Mm -hmm. Manila girl. No, that's a big human. Ooh, also, ooh. it looks like a British pop, like a pub. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, isn't that Steve from the pub? Dave. 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 I feel like he's been to one of our gigs. <laughs> Manila girl. I love this. Manila girl. Manila. Oh, cool. <laughs> I always wondered, See, how do they do so that? Do, do, they, do they remove the part, the back of the wardrobe? Yes, Ephra. That's exactly how they do but it. But there's a wall there. No, that's what they make you believe. Papi. That's sick. <laughs> Maybe it's like a window. Wow. Oh, Ooh. transitions, dog. Yes. But see, that transition is very 90s. Oh, yeah, they couldn't do that in the 60s. Such a feel good song though. Manila girl. Hey. <laughs> if, that, nice. if that had happened for real, oh, but she does have the autographed picture. Sick. Oh, good pretty cool, pretty cool. Good story. Today. If that did happen though, I'd say, say you were meant to be studying and then upstairs you're making a bunch of noise. Mm -hmm. Now, trust me, they're not hitting. You know how they were hitting the roof? Like their parents were hitting the roof? No. If that was like back, if that was realistic, they would be the hitting broomstick, you. Yeah, you'd be the roof, dude. <laughs> the, the broomstick would be hitting yeah. you. <laughs> I don't know if that's like, uh, it's just because like it seems Filipino culture is so like uh, similar to like Latin culture. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, obviously, you know, in Latin America, South America, there's like the meme of like the chancla, the, like the shoe, they show the fucking shoes. I don't know in the like Philippines if that happens. Freaking hit you with the chinelas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what happens in the Philippines. Maybe it's the broomstick. Did ask right. Maybe it's the wooden spoon. A, a grandma, a grandmother used to say, like, um, well, she's not dead. A grandmother would tell us how she would have to, because one, you know, we have an uncle who's his, he's built like a truck, and he went <laughs> he to was, the army and he shit. Was very crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's a fucking character, and uh, he's even a character now. And he he was so strong that he, if she would like hit him like this, just to sort of call his attention, he, he wouldn't fucking feel it. He wouldn't do anything. So back in the day, you grab the broomstick, bah, <laughs> bah, and then that's when he, hey, what the hell? But he was built like a truck. Yeah, and he used to get in trouble so much. The yeah, stories, dude. bro. Yeah. Dude, he once, he once used this thing to do this like, uh, I don't know what you call that. It's like a sling. Uh -huh, and yes. he would fucking target practice with stray cats <laughs> on the road, man. What the fuck? No, he killed the neighbor's cat. All right. Like All right that's fuck. He's crazy. He was crazy. He, he repents it now. He's a good man. He's a good man. Uh, but uh, rest in peace. That the cat, cat. man. <laughs> Anyways, let us know you guys' thoughts about <laughs> 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 Roasting him for no reason.